So, we've got another mystery box again, and we remember how good that one was with me and Wyatt last time, and we just saw Tate put together his mystery box, and well, let's see what kind of horror and sadness Jared's gotten planned for me today. Let's open her up. Let's open this box. Mystery box. What's inside? All right, well, we've got the box open. It's another white box. It's just like Christmas. What do we get? Oh, we got an L39. What the hell is that? That's not what I ordered. Yeah. <laughs> well, apparently. So, <coughs> not only did we get a plug and play in an almost ready to fly with Tate, but now we've got the completely wrong airplane. <laughs> this is the completely wrong airplane. Let's see how great the packaging is. I'm pretty. Watch me the right airplane inside. Oh, well, look, it's not even the same color. <laughs> As, as always, they have done such a superb job of packing, and that is completely sarcastic, just so we're clear. There's at least a roll of tape used in the packing. Yeah, <laughs> there were many tri there are lots of tape trees have died in the process of making this. So the uh, gentleman who ordered the plane has absolutely no idea what plane this is. So not only is it a surprise for me, but him as well. Mystery box. <laughs> yeah, double mystery box. God. I'm really worried about breaking this plane, pulling this out of here. This is complete crap. Might fly better. Yeah, hopefully it does. I have paper with these like that. Stomp on them a few times, they fly better. Okay, well, I'll work on that in a minute. Fuselage seems to be pretty good. Uh, the stickering on it looks decent. Um, I am getting quite a bit of crocodiling all over the entire body itself. But there doesn't seem to be any noticeable cracks. It is a decently shiny finish. And we've got a loose servo already. All right, well, just that. Oh, we've got a mystery bag here full of all sorts of goodies I'm sure we'll probably never use. Let's see here. Like a battery that can connect into itself like Tate had. That was... Okay. I have absolutely no idea what these are except, oh, they're, I know what these are, okay. Sorry, it looked like it came with its oh, own it's battery. And what are they? Like, these are, looks like foam inserts for after you plug in your servos. We'll find out. All right, here we've got the uh, gyro itself. I just have a to protect the quality goods. Yeah. Okay, we've got the elevator, which is super floppy. Oh, that is really floppy. Although, I do have a metal spar that connects both of them together. But it's not a spar that goes through it, it's actually just a connecting rod that's permanently connected. So I assume it probably only has one servo on it. Cutting corners, all right. I'm sorry, Zach. Oh, don't be sorry, this is amazing. This is like an adventure for all of us. <laughs> Are you ready for an adventure too? Alright. Vertical stabilizer. It's pretty decent. I do like the colors on it, but once again, there is a lot of crocodiling all over this. And the servos almost seem to be popping out 
already, so we might have to glue those in already. Uh, cool, so uh, let's get her out of these bags and actually find out what plane we actually got instead of the one we were expecting. All right, so normally we do B-roll right now, where we zoom in on all the parts on the plane. But this is so bad. Oh. We have to talk our way through it. I mean, this is... Awful. What did I ever do to Banana Hobbies to deserve this? Or what did I do to Jared to deserve this? <laughs> wow, I feel really dirty right now. <laughs> you should. Uh, All right. Let, let's take a closer look here. Um, so step one here. Uh, Zach commented on this loose servo. Look at this thing. Itty bitty bit of glue, paint peeled right off. So the glue failed. They, they glued to the paint and the paint came off of the foam. Could you imagine if that happened midair? Oh, yeah, absolutely. I could now that I've seen Banana Hobby's qualities. Oh. <laughs> okay, now, I don't know if you remember the F-22 video I did, but these are those little connectors we were talking about and look at how easily they plug into each other. So this is the power to the ESC or the battery would have the same gender and type of connectors. Exactly. In a now, three cell. Now the concern here is that your younger pilots, especially in their young teens, they're not going to know any better. So I could totally see a 13, 14 year old sitting in their room messing with their battery, plugging these things in, short the battery out. Next thing you know, you've got a fire in the house. You got a panicked kid because it just burst into flames. And let's face it. 13, 14 year old, they're not gonna fess up to it, the house is gonna burn. So, not only that, but foam burns awful nice. It really does. I mean, that's, that's just... It, it's a terrible connector. I've never seen oh. a real battery <laughs> use those type of connectors. Have you? Oh no. I've never seen an actual battery by any manufacturer that's legitimate use that type of a connector. It's yeah. a huge liability. Oh no, it, it, it's, it's ridiculous. It's absolutely ridiculous. All right. So let's come over here. Now, the <clears throat> manual states that there's landing gear, you know, so we got to locate our mounts. Look up here on the nose. On the nose here, there should be a plastic mount here. So Jared went to find it, pushed on it. The decal snapped. It was that brittle and just started flaking off. I've got the same issue right here with the washers that I have to plug the screws into. I mean, I might as well break it, but I mean, I'm going to have to break through that and look at... Well, if, that, if you had to put glue on that, for instance, like you do on the landing gears even. Yeah. These yeah. are all painted over yeah. and we know as soon as I glue my landing gear here, I'm going to have a delamination of the, the paint and the foam just like I've had back here with that servo. Yep. yep. So I know my gears are going to fail, but hey, you know, the nice thing is we didn't even get gears, guys. That's true. We didn't. You know what we did get? We got these two little mystery foam pieces which are skid plates? Landing skids. Landing, Landing skids. skids. Yeah, these are totally going to hold up, especially when I glue them on here randomly paint to paint. Well, the other problem too they're, is, they're is supposed to the instructions right here. show they go here. Yeah. yeah. No, no, they said they go here. Well, or no, was they, it right here? No, they go over here. Oh no, I thought it was right here. Maybe oh, well, it's, guys, you know, it's marked guys. on the wing. No, look, look. It's on the wing. Okay. It's right here. Oh, let's, let's do it's this, this, this nice white line. Oh, we oh, don't, wait a second. We don't have a white line. Oh my god. Yeah, so. Alright, so what are we looking at here? We've got probably the lowest quality plane we've ever reviewed here. But it's an EDF. It's a jet. Oh, I Those are that. the places you have to have high quality and high tolerance and high capability. If this thing goes awry, it's it's a missile. I get that. I get that. Not only that, but we've got the wrong plane entirely. Yeah, we, we do. It's not, not, it's not, not the red only, one in the box, see, right here. It's not the plane that was ordered. It's not the plane that was listed on the box either. And this is supposed to be a Tomcat, so not even like something remotely close to it, like maybe a 15 that someone doesn't kind of know what an F-14 looks like. No, it is like a completely different plane. <laughs> yeah, we have no clue what this is. Okay. But you know uh, what? We're going to build it? Oh, yeah, we're going to build it. We're going to fly it, but... Uh, oh. You know, it's just kind of a heads up, again, a little bit of a call out, a little warning, little, you know, community shout out moment here. You know, the banana, banana hobby stuff, I don't know, man. No, you're absolutely right. It's a gamble. This, this calls for My a vendor review. Nose right here, by the way. What? What yeah, are your decals? I've got really Oh, low. look, it's, it's literally falling it, off. It's, 
<laughs> the plane. Well, I mean, that's that's like flight line level right there. I, I've had that happen <laughs> off my flight line planes. <laughs> that was disappointing, but at least they sent me the right model. Oh, so it was a good plane too, <laughs> other than the, the yeah. decals. Yeah. Yeah. So, no, this, gentlemen, this calls for a vendor review. So watch for that in the coming weeks. We will be doing a vendor review of Banana Hobbies and probably some of the others that we've been ordering from as well. Yeah, we've got about two dozen planes, a dozen planes from Banana Hobbies, just good. from all the different things we've tested. Easily. All these things are consistent failures. So we're gonna review those. Oh, this is definitely the worst. Oh, this is the worst, yeah. Yeah, this is rough. <laughs> all right, Zach. Well, we're gonna let you build this thing. All right. Best of luck, buddy. Yeah, Thanks. Best. What we'll, do we do we'll, with these skid plates? We'll, we'll, we'll get out the extra extra couple bottles of glue for you. Please. <laughs> An extra couple bottles of other things what might help us go by a little something? easier too. <laughs>
here at Angry Zeppelin, we always approach every plane as a new adventure, a new discovery, if you will. We pay for this out of our own pocket. We are, like we say, 100% unscripted, unsponsored, but we feel completely robbed from this. And then when we do go to look for spare parts for this, it turns out we can only get it in red, like a mismatched hoopty you'd see driving around. So, even though we were expecting an F-14 Tomcat and review that, we are going to review this beautiful blue turd. So, let's get on with it, shall we? Now, this is the L-39, which I have never heard of designation before, but we're going to go with it. This plane is marked as a beginner, and it is anything but, I would say, at this moment in time. Uh, first of all, we already went over with the unboxing of the crocodiling going on over the uh, paint as well. But we're going to get into a little bit more detail. First of all, let's hear how loud this thing and underpowered this thing is. So we'll do a little thrust check for you real quick. Wow. That's a breeze, let me tell you. Now, I can only imagine cutting throttle just a bit to do a turn and this thing completely just stalling out because of the low power on it as well. Now, let's get on to the landing. <laughs> we, so instead of the landing gear, which was in the manual, they decided to X all the landing gear and just give us these two nice perpendicular skids that have little to no, I don't know what you would call it. Any, it, just the friction that's gonna cause on these stabilizers as we land is gonna tear this thing apart. And not only that, but we have no carbon fiber sparring. So as you can see, Man, that is a lot of flex. I mean, it's, if you're coming in even slow enough, it's going to hit that, the wing's going to catch on something, and it's going to rip apart. Now, onto that as well. On the back end here, we have twisting of our elevator. Now, that is because there's only one control horn on the left side, and there's no spar going through any of the elevators. So one side is getting a ton of power while the other side is getting about half power. So this thing is going to start rotating whether or not I want it to when I'm just trying to pull up. So that's great. Uh, we've also got a lot of cracking going on inside these hinges right here. I mean, this is anything, like I said, but a beginner plane. It's going to break apart. There's no give on anything for any sort of rough landing on here. And this plane is so straight and flat that even a belly landing, if I dip it in just a bit, that's gonna break that nose off right there. So on top of the design flaw in the elevators and the multiple throughout the plane, I would like to also specifically point out the fact that this is a belly lander designed to, you know, eat away a little bit at itself every time you land. Now, there is no protection whatsoever on the bottom of this plane. It is, it is not designed to be a belly lander because it was designed to have gears, you saw. But they're selling it to us like this. Now, it will eat away at that nose. And, you know, here at Angry Zeppelin, we like to find the cost of a plane in more of a general cost per flights. Um, so this thing that's designed to land as a belly will only have a few limited flights on it because it's eating away at itself every time it lands and it is not designed to do that. So that will completely reduce your cost per flight value. And we have, we have reviewed many other planes here on Agri Zeppelin that are just $20 more, that have the safe flight, that actually take care of you, that have great products. And you know, for that extra $20 more, you could have something that really flies well. So, you know, I went out and I got another EDF plane. It's 120 bucks. It's a MiG-15. Now, it is not as big, I will admit that, but man, I'll tell you what, this thing is a great beginner plane. This is a great beginner, we're gonna chase you away from the hobby plane. Like, <laughs> you know, we wanna keep people flying. You, you gotta really inspect these stuff. Take note about the quality. I mean, it's just, it's astounding how different these two are and how much more I would rather take this plane than this plane and it is only 20 bucks more. So the considerable difference between these two is absolutely astounding. I would strongly recommend something like this over this any day for anybody. I mean, whether or not you're a beginner, expert, or anything, this is a dead end plane. This plane or something like it that has safe, that's just a little bit extra, 
will grow with you. You can change it from beginner to intermediate to expert. You can really get a good feel for the hobby itself versus buying something that will crash on you and break and I had to work on it forever. And repair. And repair as well, yeah. Yeah, the parts availability for this is almost to nothing. Um, so we are, we're gonna take her out, we're gonna give her a good maiden, we'll see what she's actually worth, and hopefully she's at least worth one or two flights. I can only hope. So, from here at Angry Zeppelin, just remember to keep flying. So, so as you can see, there's a fair degree of commitment that we at Angry Zeppelin have for you, our viewers. It's so true. All of this comes out of our own pocket, so please be sure to like, share, and subscribe, and let us know in the comments down below what else you'd like to see here on Angry Zeppelin. Until next time, keep, keep flying! flying. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We'll just call it the Banana Hobby Challenge. Well, will it fly or will it crash?